Hi, I'm Ray Williams, an educator here at the Blanton Museum of Art. Today, we're going to look at a carved marble sculpture, the Truant. And it's going to get us thinking about what it takes to get out of our comfort zone and to try something new. An artist named Randolph Rogers made this sculpture nearly 200 years ago. Look closely at this kid. What has he done with his books? They're on the ground, and the boy is about to go ice skating. At first, I thought he was coming home from school on a wintry day and decided to put on his skates. But when I learned that the artist called this work The Truant, I realized he's going to skate instead of school. I know, school can be boring sometimes. Being stuck at home can be boring too. I hope you're not one of those kids who sits around talking about how bored they are though. One of the most important things we can learn is how to structure our own time in useful and interesting ways. Sometimes we have to choose to become interested and involved in something. Don't wait around for somebody else to entertain you or park yourself in front of a screen, try something new. Make a list of possibilities. Maybe looking at the truant has given you ideas about outside activities you can safely do. Probably not ice skating here in Texas. Did you notice the details on this sculpture? At this point in his career, Rogers was able to carve and chisel that white marble to create so many different textures. We can see the difference between snow and ice. Notice the footprint that includes the strong line where the metal skate sunk into the snow just before that foot steps carefully onto the ice. We see the leather strap around the books, the fabric of the cloak, even fleece lining around the edges to show that he's dressed warmly for the weather. He's holding on to a tree stump, and I can't tell if he's an experienced skater or a beginner. Being a beginner takes a bit of courage sometimes. We might be embarrassed about our early efforts, but that's part of the process for everyone. We'll get better if we practice. And generally, as our skills develop, our pleasure in any activity increases. For example, ice skating gets a lot more fun when we stop falling down and can do some fancy tricks. Randolph Rogers practiced until he had learned how to master the art of making stone look like a scene from life. He helps us envision life in another time in history and gets us thinking about our own situation. I hope you enjoyed looking at the truant with me. And maybe you have some ideas about new things you'd like to try. Come visit the Blanton Museum where you can see the original marble and appreciate Randolph Rogers' amazing attention to detail. Bye. If you're working on a journal inspired by this video series, please check out the related materials for some ideas and activities.